explaining to you two very, very important uh, questions of circles, which are actually solved examples. Uh, but the way they have solved, probably you will find difficulty in understanding. So I am trying to simplify the whole process for you. So the question says that TP and TQ are tangents or the center of the circle. And we need to prove that angle PTQ, this particular angle here, PTQ, is twice of angle OPQ. We have to prove that this is twice of OPQ, right? PTQ is twice of OPQ. So we are going to assume let this angle be theta. Okay, you can assume X also. So let angle OPQ is equal to theta. This is the unknown angle. And what we need to prove is that this is twice of this. We know that angle between radius and tangent is 90. So this is a tangent and this is the radius. So angle between radius and tangent is 90. So angle OPT therefore is 90, right? The angle between the radius and the tangent at the point of contact is 90. You know this theorem, right? This is the first theorem that you study in circles. Now, if this is 90 and this is theta, the remaining angle here is going to be 90 minus theta, right? So angle QPT, angle QPT will be 90 minus theta. Now this is 90 minus theta. Now you have studied in class nine that if sides of a triangle are equal, two sides are equal, the angles opposite to them will be equal. So if this is 90 minus theta, this will also be 90 minus theta. So TP and TQ are equal because they are tangents drawn from the same external point to a circle. If TP and TQ are equal, then therefore the conclusion is that angle TPQ is equal to angle TQP. You'll have to write the reasons here. This is because tangents from the same external point to a circle are equal. This is because angles opposite equal sides are equal, right? So angle TPQ is equal to angle TQP and both of them will be 90 minus theta. Now in a triangle, you know that sum of angles of a triangle is 180, right? So if I add this, I'm going to get 180. So in triangle TPQ, I've already found out two angles. So one angle is 90 minus theta. The second angle is also 90 minus theta. So what will be angle T that can be determined? So sum of angles is 180. 90 plus 90, 180 and 180, we can cancel from either side. Minus theta minus theta, we can transfer to the other side. So we get theta plus theta, that is two theta. So what is the conclusion from this? That this is theta and this is two theta. So that means we have proved that this particular angle PTQ is twice of OPQ. This is what we had to prove because we had started with the assumption that this is theta and now we have got this as two theta. So this angle is double of this. So this is the easiest way to do example number two. Uh, now let me explain to you example number three. This is also a very important question. The question says that there are two tangents TP and TQ. These are the points of contacts and PQ is joined. The length of PQ is given to us as eight centimeter. The radius of the circle is five. So OP and OQ, if I join, is going to be five. Question is find out the length of TP. Again, the easiest way to do is like this. If you look at this figure, TP and TQ are equal because they are tangents, right? Tangents from same external point to circle are equal. And OP is equal to OQ because they are radius of the same circle. So therefore, what is the conclusion? In a quadrilateral, if two pairs of adjacent sides are equal, this figure is a kite. So here we can conclude that this figure OPTQ is a kite, right? OPTQ is a kite. Again, the reason is because two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. Now, if this is a kite, what is going to happen? Diagonals are going to intersect at 90. So this angle is going to be 90 degrees. Now, once you get this as 90, what is going to happen? We can get the answer easily. Why? Because this total chord is eight. And if I draw a perpendicular from the center of the circle to a chord, the chord gets bisected. This you have done last year in the chapter circles, perpendicular drawn from center of circle to a chord bisects the chord. So this is going to be four each. The total was eight. Now I'm going to get four. Now in this triangle OMP, I can use Pythagoras theorem. If I use Pythagoras theorem here, I can say this is the hypotenuse. So five square is equal to four square plus OM square. So 25 minus 16 is OM square. So OM will be 
root of 9, so OM will be 3, right? So we can easily determine that the value of OM is 3, right? So, so far I'm sure you've understood this. Now comes the similarity concept. You will take triangle OMP and triangle OPT and prove them similar. You have done similar triangles. So I know that if two angles are equal, then the triangles by similarity concept of double A are going to be similar to each other. So if I take OMP and OPT, what is going to happen? You see this angle O is common for OMP as well as OPT, right? Angle O is common for both. And angle OMP is 90 because just now we said that it's a kite and diagonals intersect at 90. And OPT is also 90 because we know that angle between radius and tangent is 90. So the reasons you'll have to write. And since two angles are equal, I can say the triangles OMP and OPT are similar by double A. Now we know that if triangles are similar, the sides are in proportion. Therefore, we can say that OM, okay, I'm taking OM by OP. If I take OM, the corresponding side will be OP is equal to, I want to find TP, right? So I want to take, so I will take MP by PT. MP by PT. By corresponding parts of similar triangles are in proportion. If two triangles are similar, the sides are in proportion. Now all you have to do is substitute. What is OM value? OM value we have found out as three. OP value we have got as five. MP value we have got as four. And therefore, PT is the only unknown value. Cross multiply this, we get 20 is equal to three times PT. Therefore, what is the length of PT? The length of PT will be 20 by three meters. So this is the easiest way to do this sum. And uh, I hope you've understood both the examples and both are very important questions.